Okay, again, we've got uh, our clamps ready. And now that we've got our pickup holes installed, we can uh, put our label on the uh, inside of the back. Now I'm going to uh, put the top assembly in place. Make sure everything's kind of lined up there. I'm just going to take a pencil and make a little mark inside that F hole where I want the label to be seen. Okay, I just made a little pencil mark. We'll glue that right in there. I'm just going to use a little carpenter's wood glue. Smooth that all out. And I'm going to take just a small piece of uh, this is a paper towel and smooth it out. And again, just take take a breath, take a step back, double check that everything's in place because uh, once we get the body glued up there's kind of no turning back. Okay, and this glue up's uh, very much like putting the top on. I'm just going to put uh, some glue here on the back where the center block will hit. Smooth it all out again. Put some around the edges for the kerfing. Put a little glue on the center block itself. back on. We're going to use our same uh, two blocks to go over the center block and put some pressure through the middle. It's a little trickier this time because we don't have an actual flat surface to work on. Again, make sure your center line is all lined up. it can be kind of slippery so just make sure everything's lined up and stays lined up while you're uh, putting the pressure on the clamps.
in here I'm just keeping everything lined up and you may find it's pretty useful to put uh, some little shims kind of at the top and the bottom where that block doesn't really meet uh, the body of the guitar you can just take some little scrap pieces of wood sort of push them in place there on the front part especially here at the neck that part was cut away but on the back you may want to have a little extra pressure there Okay, once that's done, we can start to put the clamps on. And I'm going to kind of start on the uh, on sort of the outside corners where the guitar is the widest. And then up top on uh, sort of what I call the horns. And like before, just go around. You've got about 10 or 12 on each side.